A lot of people in trading are very left-brained and very scientific, and people tend to think that uh, success in trading has nothing to do with any of the stuff that I'm talking about, and they think that all it has to do with is the price that you enter a trade and how, what method you use to get into a trade. Well, all I can say is good luck to you. Later on, if you should uh, change your mind and would like to experience being successful, come back and watch this again and try the things that I'm talking about. Here are some methods for reprogramming the subconscious mind. Hypnosis, hypnotherapy that is, neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, and meridian tapping. If you would like to learn more about NLP, or that is, if you would like to program your subconscious mind and experience what it's like to be successful in all areas of life, as has been proven and demonstrated by many people throughout the world, here are some sources for learning more about it. Richard Bandler is the co-founder of NLP and I absolutely love the work of Richard Bandler. He's a little bit unorthodox, a little bit wild and crazy, but uh, his material is absolutely wonderful and I highly recommend uh, that you study the material of Richard Bandler. Tad James is another outstanding instructor in the field of neuro-linguistic programming and hypnosis. Chris Howard is widely acclaimed as someone who is very capable of helping people become extremely successful and extremely wealthy using NLP. Steve Andreas of NLP Colorado is another one of the experts in the field of NLP. And of course, Anthony Robbins the most famous motivational speaker in the world has been primarily teaching NLP throughout his entire career. T. Harv Ecker I would also mention although he's not necessarily considered an NLP instructor he has some outstanding training some of the best training in the world on achieving your highest potential especially for becoming wealthy. In the field of EFT Carol Look has some excellent training material on how to use EFT for achieving success in business and attracting abundance. Patricia Carrington also has some excellent material available on how to use Meridian Tapping for attracting abundance and creating success. Also Margaret Lynch is using Meridian Tapping in her Secret of Intentional Wealth program. One of the first things that you're going to want to do in order to be successful in trading or in any other business is to reprogram your subconscious mind so that you have only positive beliefs about money. And you're going to want to get rid of all these negative beliefs that almost all of us have about money. Some examples of negative beliefs about money are money doesn't grow on trees, money is filthy and dirty, money is evil, I am poor but clean or good. Money is in short supply. There's not enough money. Money goes out faster than it comes in. The cost of living is so high that it is impossible to keep up. It's hard to hold on to money. All of these things are false. There is an, uh, there's an abundance of money. There's no shortage at all. There's plenty. There's an unlimited supply of money. It's easy to hold on to money. Rich people are good. Only people who cheat have money. That's totally false. Money is not spiritual. Money is totally spiritual. In fact, if you are a spiritual person, you're going to want to make as much money as possible. Rich people are seldom happy. Hmm. Oh, like poor people are really happy. You might notice that wherever there's a, a lot of poverty, that's where there's the most crime. It's the lack of money that actually brings out the worst in people. I'm not worthy to become a rich person. I don't deserve money. I'm not good enough to make money. Uh, my parents didn't make money, so I shouldn't make money. If I make a lot of money, my friends won't like me. And the list goes on and on and on. 